Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. Today we're going over the action figures, pop vinyl, and comics haul. And we got a decent number this week. Last few weeks have been a little slow. This week, uh, not too much. Uh, as far as action figures, I only got one. Um, I'm sure most people are going to boo me for this, but it is what it is. I'm a big fan of The Miz, and I found this one. Um, this one come out last year, actually. So, I, I don't think I picked it up. I, there's another one I did see, and I may still get it. I saw a Damien Miz now. So, I may still end up getting that one as well. So, got me a new Miz uh, figure, which I've got a bunch of them already, but can't ever have too many Miz figures. Uh, next, we'll go to the comics. Uh, we'll start off with a couple, um, like we got a few old ones mixed in with some newer ones. Uh, we start off with um, some Harley Quinn covers. Uh, Catwoman. This is Catwoman number 83 and 84. Found these uh, for a uh, cover price. So definitely decided to go ahead and pick those up. Now that's not too bad. Old, Some older appearances. This is from 2000. This is from 2000. So there you go. Pick those up. Uh, next, this is a... Uh, Came out last year or year before last. Uh, this is Captain Marvel number one. And for those who know, I am they're talking about a Captain Marvel movie, and I'm hugely rooting for Yvonne Strahovski to get that role. If you know her from the TV series Chuck, she is phenomenal. She was on Dexter uh, for the last couple seasons and the last season of um, 24. So she's been in a few good stuff and great actress. Um, she's very athletic. She could definitely play the role. So I hope she gets that. Um, I didn't ha actually have this one. I did get the true believers version of it. Same thing. So, you know, it was a dollar had true believers on the top, but finally found a uh, regular copy of that. Let's see. I think everything else I got over here is this week's. I think maybe one or two in here that's not this week. I was starting off with uh, number four out of six in the suicide squad. Most wanted. Uh, Deadshot and Katana. So we got that one. Good series going so far there. Uh, next is, oh, well, look at that. Well, you know, I made a boo boo on this one. Uh, Action Comics number 51. This is part three. Part three? Yeah, part three of the um, Super, Super League. And I meant to get the regular copy, and I got the John Romita Jr. variant. Um, I like the variants, make no mistake, but I just meant to get the regular one. So there we go. And part four, see this one came out last week. Part four in the series, uh, Superman Wonder Woman come out this week. And this is the regular version. I did not get the, the variant on this one. So I might have to go back and find that regular one. Not that it matters, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> and another one in a, in a series we have part four of Spider Women. This is Spider Woman, number six. There we go. What is that with her? <laughs> now, I'm just going to say this. When I just saw it in the camera, I actually thought she was holding Kermit the Frog. Yeah, that's not Kermit the Frog. That's not Kermit the Frog. For some reason, that just popped in my head. Why is she holding Kermit the Frog? <laughs> uh, next, we have number 49 in Justice League. Dark Side War Part 9. Really good series we've got going here uh, with the uh, Dark Side War. Really, really good. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe when you guys have heard this. I keep hearing that uh, number 51 is going to have the actual identity of the Joker. Well, here's the thing. They're, they're like two months behind all the rest of the, uh, the new 52 on these. So... Uh, this is on 49, as you saw, some of the other ones are on number 51. So, when they switch over to Rebirth, will they even have time to get to that? Time will tell. And I'm actually hoping they don't actually tell the identity. That's just me. Next is um, uh, The Dark Knight Master Race, um, book four. There we go. I'm actually waiting for the whole series to finish before I read these, and I believe this is the last one. So I guess I can start reading it. <laughs> so there's that one. It's a really cool cover. Really, really cool. And the 
Actually, I did read the first one when it first came out, but I haven't read the rest of them since. So there we go. Next, uh, my guy Chris at Untamed Worlds, he put this one in my box for me. He knew I'd want it. I mean, when I saw the cover, I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely ring that up. Uh, it's uh, Avenger Standoff, Assault on Pleasant Hill Omega, the Storanko variant. And that cover is awesome. That just looks wow. That, that's a wow cover. Got the bald eagle right there in cap. Wow, that looks amazing. I'm, I'm glad he, he knew right off that, that I would definitely want that. Uh, next, we have Batman number 51. And with the Batman and, and Harley, I always try to get the variant with it. Chris knew that, so he already had the variant right there for me. I like this. Uh, Batman in the rain on the water tower, kind of looking over the city. It's a John Romita Jr. Uh, variant. That looks amazing. And there's there's the regular one beside it. There we go. Oh, man. Love those. Those are great. Uh, next, we have Star Wars number 18. I'm a couple issues behind on this, so I got to catch up on it. Uh, what I've got to so far is it's pretty good. It's not great, but it's pretty good. So, yeah, we can work with it. That looks really cool. There you got Leia and uh, a lady's name that I cannot think of. Ugh. Hate it when I can't think of someone's name. That lady right there. <laughs> Next, we uh, go to Marvel. We have the Ultimates. Number six. And another thing that I am behind on. Shocking as that may seem. So far behind on so many different comics. This one I am not behind on. That is Super Zero, number five. Um, Super Zero and Huck have been two of my favorite comics that have come out in a while to amazing comics. Uh, if you haven't checked this out, give it a check. It, it's it's fun. It's a real fun read. Definitely give it a shot. Can't wait to, to read this one. I'll probably read this one tonight. Well, do a podcast tonight. Might, might wait till tomorrow. Next, we have uh, a variant. Uh, this is number two out of the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the third print. Uh, I've got the original one. That's full color. I've got the second print also, which has a little bit of color in it. And that one right there is pretty much just a full uh, sketch. And that looks awesome. I, I saw I was like, dude, I got to have that. And I know they're up to uh, third print on the first one. And I believe the third one as well. So I definitely want to see if I can't get those as well because those sketch covers look amazing. And last but not least in the comics anyway, I, have, I also have a pop vinyl this week. We got Harley Quinn numbers at 27. Wow, Harley's all up to number 27. The Fool with the Tools. Red Tool. You know, just from this picture, now I don't know, I haven't read it yet, so I don't know this character. He looks somewhere between um, Deadpool and Daredevil. Just, again, just from this, this picture. And then we have the variant copy, the John Romita Jr. There's also a uh, Amanda Connor variant. The last few I've not been able to get. So I, I think from like about number 24 on up, I have not been able to you get that one. Apparently they're just kind of getting harder to find or... Uh, maybe the local shops, they've, they've uh, had to add more before they can actually get them. So, and so I've not been able to find them. That's a little upsetting. Uh, next, this week, uh, a couple weeks ago, I found I got a Swamp Thing. And this week, we have the Glow in the Dark Swamp Thing. Looks awesome. Um, there's one more. There, there's three. There's a regular one, uh, Glow in the Dark, and there's a Flocked uh, Swamp Thing. So, hope I can find that Flocked Swamp Thing out there somewhere. So that looks pretty cool right there. Look at his eyes. Look at him. Look at that. I can't wait to see how much it glows. That's gonna be exciting. <laughs> yeah, I like those. I like those figures when those pops when they actually do have a good glow. There's some of them that glow is not good at all. So that one I'm hoping's got a really good glow to it. But that's all I got this week. I had one pop, one action figure, and a stack of comics. And let's see, a podcast tonight. Not even sure the topic yet. I think we're going to go with uh, animated movies, um, which huge topic. You got Disney, you got Marvel comics, you got uh, DC, you have 
um, was that Pixar? Not Pixar. Yeah, Pixar. I was thinking Pixels. Pixar, uh, DreamWork. You know, some of those are Disney as well. But there's such a huge umbrella when it comes to oh, anime as well. Don't let me forget anime. So there's a huge, huge list that we can go on. Um, but yeah, I know we won't even come close to hitting them at all. So we'll probably do a couple on that. And last week we did um, uh, cartoons, anime, just the series. So I know there's a lot of we missed there too. So we're going to have to do a, a double up on both of these two topics. So that's what we got tonight. Let us know some of the, the movies, uh, uh, the animated or anime as well that you guys may like. We, someone we may hit, someone you know we may miss and have to do them at a future time. But that's all we got today. And you guys have an incredible day.